So um, we're here today um, in the presence of uh, Sabre royalty because uh, between Roger and his wife Charlotte, or Charlie as everybody knows her, uh, these are the founders of the great company that we work with today and the company that we all admire so much. And uh, you had so much to do with the beginnings of the company. Uh, maybe I could ask Charlie, just I, I know that there's a story behind the story of where uh, Sabre Yachts is located in Raymond. My grandparents came to Maine in 1907 and bought a big piece of property on Sebago Lake. And so that is why we came to Maine because we had certainly an interest in Sebago Lake area and the people there and it was a natural. So how many years would you say that you were boaters? I mean, Roger, I don't know when you're boating lifestyle your boating life began was it as a young boy or a teenager or well it really began when i was six years old my father built a wooden uh, 12 foot long boat in the garage and working mostly at, in the evening and saturday and i was a six-year-old holding the screws in my hand you can believe it and uh, he would pick a screw out of my hand and then put it in place in, in the boat and that was my first love, and I grew up with that. Uh, and uh, because we had a cottage on 69 Lake, about 60 miles north of Montreal, and my mm -hmm. father liked buying mahogany runabouts and things like that uh, after the war. But we had wonderful summers up there, and that's where I began my sailing in a sailing canoe. Tell us about the early days of Sabre Yachts and trying to make payroll and all those I things. I remember doing the accounting and payroll at the dining room table at home and bringing our dog to work. Mm -hmm. I was the only one who was allowed to have a dog at Sabre. The dog would sit under the desk and be very quiet. Um, yes, I, I played part-time role for many, many years. It wasn't until the very end that I worked full-time. Right. I loved the part-time yeah. role because I was a mother. Um, tell us a little bit about the development of the design and how you came to select the Sabre 28 or that size to be your first Sabre sailboat. Well, it, it really evolved over a long period of time when I built the first boat to my own design at age 14. Um, when my parents brought a book on boat design into me in the hospital, uh, but then gradually got involved in sailing international 14-foot dinghies mm -hmm. at the Royal St. Lawrence Yacht Club. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, then designed the uh, Sabre Scout, uh, and it was a 26-foot long, high-performance sailboat. As a sideline of my building construction business, I had carpenters and, uh, and workers available and a shop available for both the Sabre Scouts. We built a dozen of them, but they were so high performance and uh, were as happy upside down as they were right side up. And I'll digress and say the Sabre name came from the long, sleek, curved shape of the Sabre Scout. Uh, uh, with the, the market came to a standstill, but I loved the business. So that's when I said, if I'm going to start a business, and uh, I just love doing this, so I sold the construction business and then said, what can I design that would be a popular boat? So I went all through the, the, the boat yards and the uh, marinas down to Long Island Sound, places like that. I would say, how wide is the berth that I pull up by tape measure? <laughs> the tape measure was the success uh, the golden tool, tool of the Sabre 28. Who was the first Sabre to wear? Well, the very first check that we received was from a dealer in Soda Spay, Lake Ontario. Okay. And I think we will never forget that check for $50. Uh, but we were so excited to get that check. And at, at the first boat show, that was the one check we had. We had a lot of dealer interest, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, but, but that was the first check. Can you choose one moment that stands out from all the others in terms of your own personal pride and what you accomplished. Uh, that's why that picture of the Sabre 42 was up there. 
And that's in the, in the basin here in, uh, close by so. in a harbor. And I took that picture from our dinghy one morning as the uh, sun was just coming up. Uh, but that was the absolute apex of Sabre Yachts. That's good. I can tell by the smile on your face that it was a, a, a proud moment. Oh, you. yes. That was, that was <laughs> su superb. I think we'll never, uh, my wife Charlie and I will never forget that, that particular time. Mm -hmm.